All right, today, girls, we are going to learn how to use InDesign for a different purpose other than print. Um, before we start with actually getting into InDesign, a few things. Hopefully, you've copied over from the Dropbox or from a memory stick a folder called Bad Designs Are Us. Within that folder, there should be a PDF and also you should have some images, some business card images, and some navigation arrows, and we're going to use those to make hover effects on our PDF. Now, um, what we are learning how to do is create something in InDesign that's interactive. So that means something that you can click on, something that has hyperlinks. Um, and in that process, we're also going to learn how to do things like styles and master pages. So this is just a different di dimension of InDesign because as we know, um, things are published digitally as well as in print and InDesign is flexible and you can do both of those things. Now, in order to teach you how to do, um, use the interactive tools, I've put together a little bit of an example that is absolutely crazy and it's based on really bad business cards that I found on the internet while researching things for your year 10 exam. Since you girls are beautiful designers now and know design techniques this is going to be a bit of an assault to the eyes. So we'll look at it and see an example of what you can do using um, an interactive PDF. So if you notice, this is our title page. I've set this up for an iPad. So if this were on an iPad, it would fit one screen per page. Um, notice we've got as our bad design techniques, this bad designs are us. We have green on red, a big no-no. We don't really have any space in there. We're using the dreaded Comic Sans. And this is our business card for our own business, we're really going to um, use <laughs> show people our design style by applying everything in rainbow word art. Now on the techniques that we're actually going to be learning how to do, again, not the most beautiful design, but if you notice when I hover, the arrow changes co colors. And so we are going to learn how to create buttons and create a hover effect. And when I click on that button, it does go to the next page. On here, again, really bad example of design. So we have Comic Sans, Papyrus, and Apple Chancery all molded together or put together on one page with several different types of alignment, not good contrast, um, all in all, really good examples of terrible design. Each one of these underlined words that you cannot read very well are actually hyperlinks and I've applied a style. Um, so there's a style for that. We'll learn how to create styles coming up through this video. But if you notice, when I click on them, it acts like a menu system or a hyperlink. I have a nice button here not um, good contrast or alignment. And that returns back. So we'll learn how to create bookmarks with buttons that you can click on and link to. And again, um, if you notice on these pages that we have similar things on every page, like the forward and backward arrows, and we've got this button, and we also have our nice rainbow type gradient in our background. So if we have things that are similar on every page, instead of copying and pasting and copying and pasting, we can use something called a master page. And we can just put that on one page and apply that master style to every page. So that's actually an efficiency measure within InDesign. Um, if I return to my directory, um, you will notice that this style is similar. So we've got that here. Every one of my business cards has a beautiful polka dot border with some drop shadowing. Um, that's also a style. So you'll learn how to create styles throughout these videos. 
and escape out of that. And we'll go back into InDesign. So when you create a new document in InDesign, we'll stop there. Um, by default, it will probably come up with print, and you will also notice that you have millimeters for your measurements and A4 page size. So we know that's set up for print, um, and we know that the default color scheme will probably be CMYK. You also have a choice of web or digital publishing. Here we're going to use our digital publishing. And then when we change that to digital publishing, our options up um, update or change and now you can see you have things like presets for an iPhone or an iPad or a Kindle or an Android. We'll develop ours for the iPad and portrait or landscape we'll put ours in portrait so that will be the that means the width is narrower than the height 768 by 1024 and notice that the measurements change to, change to pixels so now we have pixels because we're working in digital publishing so we'll say okay and this page size right here is this page size set up for an iPad now up in the top your toolbars, your default workspace is probably set up as Essentials. So if you change that to Interactive for PDF, you'll notice that you have some additional things by default that come up, such as buttons, bookmarks, hyperlinks, media. So then we're adding in those um, tool, those tool um, Bars by default that will help you to, to create digital publishing. If you don't see these, if you go into your window and workspace and say reset interactive for PDF, that should come back. And that's a tip for any of yours. If you're into essentials and you don't see some of the tools that you normally are used to seeing, you just go into reset and um, reset essentials. But we will change ours right now to interactive for PDF. And have those up. Now the first thing I'd like you to bring up is your pages. If you notice here we have something called none and something called a master. And we'll look at that after we add a few more pages, we'll look at the difference between those. But one thing nice about InDesign is if you're making a multi-page document, um, you can just create things based on a master. You can easily rearrange them in this um, window. So we want to add some more pages. We are going to have our introductory page, our title page, our table of contents, and then we also have our several business cards to add. So I'm just going to create nine pages in our spread. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm just going to check at how many business cards we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine on oh, our famous cat biz, which is ten. So we actually need eleven pages in total. So we'll add two more, and that's going to be our title page, our table of contents, and our nine business cards that we are going to showcase. So we have those. If you notice right now, they all say A. That means all of those are based on our A master. And once we start adding things to the master, it will go on every single page. Um, I'd like you to click on your master. Double click that so we're on the master. And I would also like you to bring up your layers. 
in your layers, let's straight away make a layer called background. A layer named text and a layer named buttons and we'll work with those different layers and I want my pages up bring my layers out it doesn't go away have those near each other. Right, on my background layer, I'm just going to create a rectangle over the background. Right now, no fill on that. We could put on a hideous color. Now if you notice because I'm on the master and all of these have the master applied to them, every single page gets our nice bright hideous background. Um, if I don't want, if I want something that's going to be a little bit different or I want no master, Watch, I can click on the none and I can drag that. So I'm going to drag that to page one and I'm going to drag that to page two. When I look at those pages, they have nothing. Every other page has my nice bright fluoro green background. Before we go any farther, we haven't saved this document yet. So let's go ahead save as make sure that you're in your bad um, business cards folder bad designs are us and we'll name it with our no caps no gaps so bad oops bad designs and underscore and um, you can put your name with that. I'm going to put Nick Mon and save. All right, let's go back now to our master page. So make sure you're clicked on the master. You can see that it's highlighted. And again, we'll select our uh, rectangle and we can see that we're on our rectangle on that page um, and just because we're using bad design and in case you don't know how to make a gradient within InDesign we will um, add a gradient to that so here I've put on a gray gradient notice it updates all of those if I want to create my own gradient, not the default one, I can go double click my gradient, go into my swatches, create a new swatch and it will be a new gradient swatch. When I double click that, notice that you have a gradient ramp down here. And I might name this one Rainbow. You can make it a linear gradient or a radial gradient. When I click on a stop color, I'm going to change this to RGB since we're working on the screen. And I'll make my full red RGB um, color to st start, which is 255 intensity of light intensity of red and zero of the other two. If you want to add another stop on a gradient, you just click below and then I can double click that one and I might make that one yellow. Red and green make yellow. I might make another one 
that's fully green. Remember, those are, these are just our pixel values, which are really our bit values of how much we are adding red, green, blue. And um, we'll go to our last stop. And I can actually change that to RGB blue. So 255. And now I have a new rainbow background. Um, again, just looking on our pages, you'll notice since I was doing that on the master and all of those have an A master applied, it's updated my different pages, except for the first two where I've said don't use the master page. The other ones will have a master applied. Again, we'll just do a quick save. We've made those changes. And the next thing, let's again, um, we know that we are going to, on our master, we're going to need to be able to flip back and forth. So we need some sort of arrows. Um, I'll, I'm going to pause the video here, and those are the next things that we're going to add, but I don't want this video to get too large, so I'll just um, stop it here, upload it, and then make sure that you've saved, and then we'll go on to the next one.